Today, I'm gonna be facing my biggest fears in the next 24 hours. I'm gonna be flying to Florida so I can go swim with saltwater crocodiles, and I'm going to the top of the highest building in my city just so I can fall off. Today's video is gonna be insane, so watch all the way to the end. One of my biggest fears is a living creature. This is a rare animal that lives in the United States, and it is the saltwater crocodile. You guys might not know the difference between alligators and crocs, but crocodiles are way more dangerous. They can grow up to be three times larger, and they're even accountable for many deaths across the world, and they're quite literally man-eating creatures. And that's why it is one of my biggest fears, so today I'm going to be finding one in the wild, and I want to approach it head-on, face-to-face. So I woke up super early, I packed my bags, and I'm off down to Florida, where I'm going to be meeting up with Bailey Payne. Bring it in! <laughs> yeah, oh, what's up? Welcome to my state now. <laughs> That's right. There's a gator right there. Oh, no way. Can't believe we saw one so quick. I'm out here in the Florida Everglades. We're off-roading with a crazy Jeep and we're hunting for gators. There's literally a gator right out there. I can see it just sitting there. I'm trying to attract a gator. So I'm out here just tapping away. I feel like this might interest them and they might come over and check out what's making all this noise it might be an easy snack come here get her get her get her get her carter keep going keep going oh he's moving he's swimming over to shore that's a big one number three gator number three we just started heading down this road i see the full body you can see the nose, head, body, and tail on that one. Crazy. There's a gator right there, guys. I would never see that. Don't fall in. Dude, I'm gonna go down there. Down there? He's gonna bite you. Oh, I can see his eyes glowing. That looks literally just like the pond monster that we wrestled at my parents' house way back in the day. You guys all thought it was fake. This is legit. Look at this. That's what it looked like. We had sightings just like this. Oh! Okay, that's bigger than I thought. Literally says danger, Bailey. We gotta get out of here. Oh my gosh. All right, well, we got three or four gator sightings and that one that almost bit Bailey. <laughs> we gotta get out of here. That was yeah, I almost got bit. That's crazy. It's getting dark. It's the feeding hour. We found three alligators, but for me, they're not scary enough. That's why we need to find a saltwater crocodile in the ocean in the wild. Second, you weren't gonna make it. I was like, oh, he slept in. This is about to be the best day of your life, I actually think. You know I'm so ready. I got my goggles on my lap. <laughs> He's got the goggles. I got my dinosaurs on. This is the boat we're taking out. 600 horsepower. We gotta go way out in the middle of the ocean to the spot. So let's hop one and go. Pompano Pier, guys. Just yesterday, there was a massive saltwater croc that they found, and we're about to jump in the water and go look for it. Yeah, right. I wonder where it came from. Does it just live in the ocean? It come from the keys. A croc is definitely there. A croc will so, press you. If you see it, anything, you know, it just doesn't look normal. Just see the croc. Or right? just be like, yo. Well, who's going in first, Carter? Well, you have to get. You gotta pay me to go in. Ah! He's not a. He's not a sea creature. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared of. Him. You're scared. Send your last text. Yo, yeah. I'll give you 300 bucks to jump in first with that saltwater croc. 300. And actually, I'll go at the top end. You know, I'll make it for 300. Why not? <laughs> Just make sure you don't see the croc. Yeah. It was here yesterday. Hopefully, it'll break my croc. All right, ready? Yo, there it is, the croc. Oh! <laughs> Dude, honestly, I think you're scared to get in. You're pulling a right in front of you right now. <laughs> well, I'll put my goggles on. I'm going to go check in and see what's up. Ready? All right, I'm going down. See how deep I can go. Carter's gonna go next. I mean, this is a terrifying challenge, y'all. We're in the deep sea. There is activity, and with activity comes creatures. So, here we go. Did you guys see that? Well, Bailey did it, and neither did I. We have no idea just how close to danger we are. Yeah, right. It's scary. 
Oh. And he's on there with me. You can't be in solo. Body in here. <laughs> Free diving? You gonna oh, go yeah, there? there's actually fish down there, boys. All right, let's go. Oh, Bailey's in. All right, Carter, you ready? Yeah, dude, it's so like it's a hot tub. It's bubbling. Let's go. I definitely went like 10 feet from the bottom. That's complete. You got that close? Yeah. And the search continues. Me and Bailey are officially underwater in the ocean looking for a saltwater crocodile. As you can see, this is going to be a It is swarming with life. There's amazing fish of all different colors in this spot. It is like, oh, honestly amazing. And look at this thing. It looks like an underwater tool. Look at these little yellow fish. They're so cute. This looks like a scene straight out of the Finding Nemo. I can't believe it. And look, there's a piece of That rainstorm is heading our way. There's a chance when we dive down again, that rain is gonna come over top of us, which would be pretty crazy because I feel like that might make it even harder to see and more murky than that croc or some sharks are in this water. We might not see them before it's too late. Hey, we got some rain on the horizon. We only got one motor working, the other one is up. We can't go very fast. Wells are looking insane up there. I paid extra for two motors. Now we only got 300 horsepower and half of that. We got like 100 horsepower pushing us right now. Awesome. Is that the whole map right there? It is getting pretty choppy out here. That second peak. Oh my god. Yo, that thing is. Oh, we gotta outrun it. This is looking insane. Oh, we're literally about to surface. Oh, look at this guy going. Storm's coming in, so we gotta boat back before it hits the wave. The wave is crazy. It's ready to go in the water. Escaping the storm, we look back at some of the footage and we realized the saltwater croc was in the ocean with us. We just didn't see it, which makes it that much more scary. They are ambush predators and they rarely like to be seen. On our way back, we found a few more friends trying to outrun the croc. So we just saw dolphins. Where are they at? Whoa! I just saw them. I just saw them straight ahead. See them? Carter, jump in! Jump in! It's up with the dolphins. Oh, we're like right up on them. Dude, that's crazy. Oh, it just went under us. He's in the front. Look at all this. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. Watch him. Watch him. 
This is insane! What the heck? Oh, I saw the blowhole. I forgot Dolphin's had blowholes. My time in Florida was insane, and what's even crazier is we had no idea the saltwater crocodile was actually in the water with us. Luckily, the cameras picked it up. In hindsight, it's probably a good thing we didn't see it because, man, that would have been terrifying. That's one fear I can finally cross off my list, but there's still one more thing I want to do before the day is over. Now it's time for me to face my fear 500 feet up in the air. 30. A lot of buttons. <laughs> we are up here on the Let's get a look at this view. Oh my gosh. Oh. Step up right here. I'm about to jump right. off this building, but first I gotta do safety training. Just sit into the harness. Okay. The top it'll go fast or at the at bottom? The okay. Because it, training was so simple down. and short, it's actually uh, making me a little bit more nervous. How did you even get up here? <laughs> So that training was pretty quick. I think I got it, I paid attention. So this is the safety, this is the, the control, and then you just kind of rock and roll. Yes, sir. That looks terrifying. You ready? I'm feeling a little wheezy all of a sudden. <laughs> it's not every day you get to hang off a building. Yeah, yeah, you get, I mean, we're 400 feet up. We're like the third tallest building in the city. Up, I am geared. I'm starting to get a little nervous now. So while you're here, oh, that's you high. Check your bubbles yet again. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> Definitely check them as much as you want. <laughs> Triple check, quadruple check. Oh, it's a little windy up here too. I didn't think I was gonna be scared. Now I'm a little bothered by it. <laughs> like, I just know getting over the edge is gonna be scary. Okay, I'm a little more nervous than I thought I was gonna be. Uh, oh, I can feel the weight of the rope just trying to pull me off the building now. <laughs> oh, just wait. <laughs> That's only one rope. Oh, 400 feet of rope is heavy. Oh, yeah. All right, man, I'm going to do a safety check on you. All right? All right. So you're the official safety guy? Listen, man, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> buckle, buckle, radio, helmet, your GoPros are on. Gloves look good in through the bottom, out through the top. Friction carabiner is set in place. Right, up is up. Function check works, it is unlocked. Which name? Carter. Carter? Yep. Can I get a belay on double yellow? Carter's coming down on yellow. Oh, there it is. All right. There you go, man. Have a good trip. Oh, bro, this is freaky. Oh. Is it too late to back out? The elevator would be faster. Oh. Oh, I'm literally hanging off right now. Are you sure? Back, back. Okay, the legs. Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm freaking out. This is insane. I'm stuck. Ah. Oh my gosh. This is so scary. I don't think I've ever seen him that scared. For real? In, really? In the whole, like the whole team are here. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm trying to get started. This is the highest I'm going to be all day. And it is so freaking high. Okay, I'm going over the edge. Oh my god, guys, I'm literally hanging off a huge building. Woo! Definitely don't look down on this one. Here we go. Oh, that's not good. I'm now looking into a window. It looks like there's like a dinner party in there. That's literally insane. The scenery up here is crazy. I honestly can't believe I'm doing this. It doesn't make any sense. I'm look, what was that? Oh. We're gonna keep moving, slow and steady. I'm making progress. Oh my God. I'm literally standing on the ledge of this building right now. This looks insane. I feel like a superhero. What in the world? This is crazy. Nice, I get to see my reflection. Woo! 
Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm just hanging above the city. I'm starting to feel a little bit more comfortable. And I feel like this is like one of those once in a lifetime opportunities where you get to see the entire city below you and just hang off the side of a skyscraper. There's my progress from the top and just working on my way down. I'm not even walking, I'm just kind of dragging my feet at this point. That's so wild. I mean, people must be doing this all the time to clean the windows. I mean, I'm looking at like the outside of these windows. Someone had to install them. Someone had to be up here. Someone had to put that tile on and all that grout. Someone had to like install that. So someone's job is to like come up here and put these buildings together. And that's for every building in the world. Okay, so the lever in my left hand, if I pull it down, that gives me speed. And if I let up, it stops. Oh. I feel like I'm about halfway, but it still feels like I'm so high. I mean, honestly, if I fell from this height, it, it wouldn't be good either way. So, work my way lower. He's like a spider. I do. He's just dangling up there. I don't know what he's doing. I'm ready. He's looking for hot Woo! They're cheering for me down there. Let's go. Oh, we're kind of going pretty quick right there. They did say it's a lot easier to go faster towards the bottom because there's less rope pulling down on you. Okay, so I gotta be just mindful and careful. Okay. We're getting closer to the street. Still looks like I'm so high floating above the city. I'm way lower than the very top, which is way up there. I hear people yelling at me down at the bottom. I'm still so high that if I fell, I still wouldn't make it. Let's go! Oh my gosh. There's people just walking on the sidewalk down there that have no idea what's up. Okay guys, we are getting close to the bottom. We can almost see it. Oh. Let's go! Yeah. Woo! Wow, Carter is really moving down here. Let's give him a round of applause. I'm not even that high up anymore. I almost could survive this fall if I had to fall. <laughs> That's kind of how I'm considering. If I just get low enough, then I'm safe. I'm not scared anymore. All right, we're coming down. Woo. Let's go, almost made it. I think now I could probably survive the fall. I don't know if I'd walk away, but I don't know if I would die. All right, we're coming straight down for a landing. A long way to go, all the way from the top. Yeah, I survived. Yes, dude. Let's go. Yes, dude, you did it. How was it, man? That was pretty scary. Was it awesome? It was awesome. Also, I was more scared than I thought. Thank you. Okay, great. Wow, thank you. Good job, Mr. Connor. Thank you. This is so much fun. You're crazy, bro. Yeah, We're super done. fun. Yep. We did it. We got to send somebody every year. It's like a prank. For the record, I would love to go. I can't wait to go. I'm, pr I'm proud of you, man. I'm proud of you. Good job, you guys. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Wow, I can't believe that building is 400 feet tall and I went up to the top and rappelled down. It was terrifying. Definitely faced one of my fears of heights. I feel a little bit more confident if I had to do it in the future. I'll see you guys on the next vlog. Peace, woo!